Ding dong, Brandis is gone. Melbourne's writers are happy to see Art Minister George Brandis off the job after he made numerous unpopular policies, which resulted in an open letter by prominent Australians calling for his removal. The fact that Brandis has been removed um, means we've kind of got a bit of a fresh start and someone new to potentially work with, um, which is exciting. It's the outcome that we were advocating for. Uh, so the open letter that we wrote with 350 writers, including Nick Cave and Nobel Prize winning J.M. Kurtzia, called for that. Senator Brandis has been replaced by Mitch Fifield, a Victorian senator who was previously the Assistant Minister of Social Services and the Manager of Government Business in the Senate. Leading Australian artists such as Nick Cave called for Senator Brandis' sacking. In their open letter to the new Prime Minister, they called for a restoration of funding to the literary arts sector and increased dialogue between writers and the government. It's our responsibility as well. It's not just you know, the politician. It's, it's literature and the community's responsibility to um, create voice. It's on us to lobby him. We can't just expect that he'll come to our doors and just get you know, content um, across his desk. Otherwise, he'll not know what we're doing. The arts community says Senator Fifield and his actions will be watched closely by local authors. But what will Senator Mitch Fifield mean for the literary arts? Only time will tell. Jonathan Lian, City Journal News.